Good morning, people. My little sparklets. Welcome to day 23. Is it 23 today? I believe so. Yes, it is. Right, quick recap. It's bloody cold here. Um, for all new subscribers that may not know, this is what I'm doing. Um, Doorway to the Stars, Max Colours, artwork by Josephine Moore. It's got 120 colours and it's 112.5 by 110.5. Now, this is my challenge. I'm hoping to complete this within the months of January and February. That is a challenge to me. I'm doing pretty well. Right, yesterday I managed to do 4,500 drills. I am now at 42.08, so just under three days ahead. Um, yeah, but the challenge is to do it within January and February. Please excuse my nails, they need to be doing. But let's get stuck in to doing this. So how are you guys doing? Update from yesterday when I said I'd had some bad news. My niece's baby who is three months old. Three months, she's not three months, she's three years old. Has, is in hospital at the moment. She's not doing well at all. She's She had a liver transplant when she was a few months old. And she's not doing well. She's been in hospital for a couple of months now. Um, so yeah, guys, please, please continue. Thank you for all your kind words regarding her. She does need lots of prayers and positive thoughts. Along with her mum, my niece, um, who is one of the strongest women I know. She's still young and she's coping with all this, just about. But yeah. So, <clears throat> yesterday I lost myself in doing diamond painting. Um, it's never nice when a child is sick and it's a child that's so young. It's um, very sad, but we're all praying and sending positive thoughts and hopefully she will start improving very soon. On another note, I do have I do believe I've got an eye infection. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I am hoping and praying I can get a doctor's appointment. I'm blind as about anyway, so we don't need anything else happening. Luckily, it's me bad eye, me rubbish eye, so. But yeah. We are just did that all cockeyed, didn't I? Shall 
shouldn't go there. It should go there. But yeah, cracking along with this nicely. It's all um I might as well do this one now. Oh, there's a little one all down there on his own. But yeah, apart from diamond painting, I have done a little bit more on the new releases for my Etsy shop. Which hopefully will be at some time this week. We will see. Um, thank you for all the amazing, amazing um, comments from yesterday's video. All the words of encouragement. The um, I think it's looking great. And apparently you guys do as well, which is good. Right, one in that little nook there. There. In the corner, if you've got one more turned over, and one in that little nook. And the other two, let's mark them off before I forget. We have one there, one there. As you can see, I do a quite a large section. I find this, I don't colour change as much. Well, I do, but just, they tend to last a bit longer. 807. I am trying to get everything so it is in shot for you guys. But it's pretty difficult to get close up and do it all right so one there one there and then down here we have one each side of that one and then we've got one there that wasn't too difficult was it now but yeah not long guys till the halfway mark which will be good. Not long, I think, until I've finished this canvas and we can move on to the second one. So I am going great guns. <clears throat> it is slowly getting there. Like I said, I did great guns yesterday. And you know what? It was one of them where didn't quite realise how many I'd done until it was done. So, along the middle, I'm not sure if you can see it all, but along the middle of this section, I do have quite a bit of free ten. so as normal, I will leave that till last. I'm hoping to have another good day today because the further along I get, obviously the better chances I have of, oh, pick a drill up pen, the, fur, the more chance I have of actually completing, like, I know I'm ahead at the moment, but anything could happen. One, two, three, and two down. So I'd rather be ahead than playing catch up. Two, three, across. One, two, and one, two, three. And then that one there. 
Now, as usual, <coughs> when I'm doing my the first few colours, there is a lot of counting, which is a bit boring for you guys. One, two, three, four. I finished watching. I forgot what it's called. Downton Abbey. One, two, three, four. One, two. And thoroughly in love. <coughs> thoroughly loved it. I have got a very dry throat today. A bit of a croaky throat, actually. But it is early. I say it's early. Ten past seven. In the morning. I actually got a decent night's sleep last night. So. And I tell you what I'm also noticing. I'm also noticing that I'm. My numbers are really going down for this, all the colours. I've got a few numbers that are under 50. I am going to do this video and then I will get some of my housework done because that way I can then concentrate on one, two, three, four and I really need to wash my hair it's just so cold I don't want to wash my hair and then be freezing so I may <clears throat> wash my hair this evening. So that I can just jump into bed afterwards. Down there. And then up there. So, yeah. I am going to try and get better at giving you videos every day. Um, the thing is, it takes, you know, it's not just, like, don't get me wrong, I don't edit. I don't edit my videos. You get what you get. I do try and control my language so that I don't swear. However, one may slip in from time to time. Oh, there's only a couple of that, 160. But I am. I'm trying to get. Isn't it weird? It's like the goalposts change, don't they? The goals change because. Originally, it was like, right, I get a day ahead, then it's two a day. Now, I want to get three days ahead. I'll get to three. I would have been at three. However, I did have a couple of days where I haven't done the full quota. Oh, there's a random little red one. Where's my trash pot? This trash pot is from... Kitten up kitten. It is made with spare drills. There's a random red one that I didn't even take out, did I? And that was the aim. There we go. Into the trash pot. Now, I keep my trash drills. Not to use, but I do have a bottle which is by my feet. I'll show you it. It's this. This is all the trash drills and a few drills that I didn't have. Can you see? I didn't have enough 
I didn't have a DMC colour for them and I wasn't I weren't gonna look for them. So I keep them because I just think it'll look pretty when it's full up. It usually is on my de on my desk, but I have taken it off. I took it, in fact, I took it off when I was rearranging the layout on my desk. And I just haven't put it back yet. It's called laziness. That's what it's called. One, two, there. So, I am hoping to have another good day at this today. I may have to shoot down to London um, at s some point. So that's where my niece is. At the moment, I don't want to go anywhere near her because nobody needs to be catching this infection, which I can still feel sitting on my chest. The, um, I did have my second x-ray and they believe that it is getting better. However, not fast enough. So they have put me onto a different antibiotic. So... We have the joys of antibiotics again, which is always fun. Oh, I hate it when I poke and it doesn't come out. Yeah, you get to fill that little hole up. And this one goes in there. Whoop, whoop. See, already we've done 115 drills. It's not bad going. Excuse me while I have <coughs> some of my coffee. 3760. Now I have slowly been using up I don't know why I pulled all them out. The drills that are in my spares for this. And I've got to say, it is a great way of using spare drills up. I did order some for this of silver, which I have to say has proved to be amazing drills. I Once I get to 50%, I will start looking at what drills I've got and what I need for my Medusa. Although I'm on a strict, I don't, I won't have all of them. Um, I may need to get some, um, but I am going to leave it until I'm ready, nearly ready to do it, because then I may have accumulated, it's a big word for early in the morning, isn't it? I may have accumulated some more spares. I don't think I'll be doing it anytime soon. Simply because, one, two, three, four. Simply because I'm doing this. I then have the level event that I'm doing for March and April. And if this is finished early and my level is finished early, I really, 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 really want 
to do my grandiose grease. It's all kitted up and waiting to be, get started. It was weird because yesterday it was like, right, we have a dilemma. Right, up to one, two, three, four, up to. Um, because I did really well yesterday, I thought, do I do another little bit or do I start grandiose grease? But I was really good and I just cracked on with this because I am, um, the aim is, is that will be my treat, my little prize if I finish this early. Um, at the moment, it's looking good. However, life happens and you never know what's around the corner, do you? Right, 3860. So, the trick is, is to get as much of this one done. Get as far ahead as I can. And then, <clears throat> and that will be my little prize at the end of it. So yeah, I will, what the aim is, is I want to semi get my juicer it won't be kitted up I'll just find a spare box so that I can put in there what I've got so that when I'm in future when I'm de-kitting de-kitting <coughs> just sounded wrong that word for, for a minute when I'm kitting down, that's better. I can put drills that I need straight into it. So it'll be slowly building up what I need. As many of you know, I do not mix my drills. However, what I do, do, try to say that properly, is I, for instance, on this one, I have used drills that are different shades, but I do use them in separate places. Now, as many of you know, Elizabeth Wall is confetti heavy this is certainly confetti heavy I think I was chatting to Sam yesterday and three three one two three one two three um and I think I'd been we was on the phone dotting together um I'd been on the phone I'd done I think it was just about 150 odd drills. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And every one of them, there was only like two or three of each colour. I do the smaller colours first, the smaller amounts first. Um, I find that helps, as in, I can then crack on and, and get, I leave the biggest till last, so then it's just filling it in. What I'm doing on this one is I'll leave the middle bit, this bit till last, so I'll end up with three tens. I pulled all them out, I need three. So one goes in there. 
Orm goes in there. I am at yesterday. I just dropped something. What was it? The lid. Let me pick it up. <coughs> because I do have a tendency to lose lids and stoppers. Um, I have started watching, can you see it, I'll move that up a bit, sorry guys, it slips and I don't know where the blue tack is to stick it down, um, I was kind of, yesterday I was in the mood for, I do like my true crime, I didn't want to start Bridgerton yet which is going to be the next series well it's not because i've already started watching another one um i started watching happy valley on bbc iplayer oh, i'm right into it it's proper juicy guys right i don't usually go down to the next one but this one hasn't got many in it one, two, yeah, and it kind of creeps into the square that I'm doing, so let's be honest, there's no rhyme or reason to anything I do really, is so there? We just tend to go with the flow, wherever my pen takes me, that's where I go, and as long as I remember to mark them off. I'm usually okay. I doing a canvas of this size and this confetti and doing the sections that I do. I'm bound to get a couple in the wrong places, guys. But I do tend to um pick it up quite quickly. And then I can rectify I tell you what, it's a bit early for all these big words. One, two, three, there. And then there. Oh, more counting. One, two, three across. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I shouldn't be singing with this voice, should I? You'll all be switching off. <coughs> Not that my voice is much better when I don't have this croaky voice. Right. Oh, there's a few of them. We'll leave that one for the minute. I like to do the spready out ones, 6.10. But thank you all for your um, <clears throat> comments yesterday's, on yesterday's video. Totally agree. I think the canvas is looking stunning. I'm absolutely loving how it's looking I will try every Sunday to show you how it's all going on the canvas thing is because this canvas is 60 by 120 See, that's what I mean. In the wrong place, guys. Where's my little tweezers? Tweezers are bent because I was using them to... I was using them to sort out my glue. There we go. Panic over. And the thing is... To be honest, I think if you put a drill down wrong and you don't notice it, because 
I'm sure I have at some point. Um, this kind of confetti, I don't even think you'd notice it, guys. But I am particular, as in I have OCD. <clears throat> Hence why I don't mix my drills. It's like I had this um, conversation with Sam the other day. We were talking about washi tape. And I've got some gorgeous washi tapes. Not that I'm using them on this because it is double-sided tape. So it's a little bit harder to use. Um, to, oh, you won't use washi tape. I will, I use it around the edges. Now, recently, I never used to use washi, washi tape. I can't even bloody say it. Look, said all these big words and now I can't say washi tape. Um, I've always used it around the edges of the canvas if it's sticky. On a canvas this size, I've been using it because I don't want it to get all fluffy because I'm going to be on it a while. I thought it best. Um, and then I did try the washi tape method of sectioning when I first started. Didn't get on with it. And then I saw Sam doing it again. So I thought, you know what, give it a try because it means that I can stop halfway for a section if need be. Eight forty. Um yeah, it means I can stop halfway through. Because with what with the clear plastic cover, you can put it back with the release paper when you've got drills down, it doesn't stick as well. Now I do quite large sections. So, I don't often not finish a section. However, there are times where I need to, if I've got to pop out or the phone goes or whatever, for whatever reason. So, I thought I'd give it a go. A bit tricky to start with, but you know what? Let's do Willy Wonka. Um, it was a bit tricky to start with, but I've got into it now. But yeah, I digress. We were having a conversation because she was saying, I sorted out my work area, if you could call it work. Um, and... Got loads of washi tape. I did buy some new washi tape. It's really pretty. I like pretty things. And I know I'm on a no-buy. However, my excuse is I'm on a no-buy for diamond paintings. Um, and... Washi tape is one of the tools of the trays. <laughs> See, I'm getting away with it, my excuses. So, I don't think it counts. That's my opinion. And it was a very good price. I say I bought some. I bought it a, a good... Or a month or so ago, if no, I didn't buy it a month ago, a couple of weeks ago, and it was just sitting there. So I now have a drawer dedicated to my washi tape. That's what brought the subject up. We were, we were comparing washi tape. Anyway, she said, um, 
I said to her, what I'm going to do is because I have got some washi tape that is pretty naff. As in, it doesn't stick to the plastic very well. So, what I've said I'll do is I'm going to use that one for around the edges. Um, especially, and I she's said oh no i use my nice one blah 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 and i said the thing is i don't want to use the nice one because especially on a painting of this size i'd use it all up going around the edge whereas if i'm using it on the plastic cover i am a bit of a scrooge i don't like waste so i do tend to have a long piece of washi tape going across and then one going vertical when i've done that section i just moved a piece of washi tape along it's called recycling i think i lost a drill somewhere but we'll find it at some point um, so yeah, so hence she said, well, I've got three different washi tapes on the painting I'm doing at the minute and I'm like, no, 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 can't do it. Like the washi tape that I'm using on here, around the edge, is a green, green glitter. I got it from, um, shall I show you guys? This is the green. I got it from the pound shop. Five rolls for a pound. And I'll use that round the edge. And because I've got a couple of packs, it means I've got enough to go back to using the same colour. Some of the new ones that I bought were, let's, you see this look at it in the pretty box look how gorgeous are they but this guys it's what one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty rolls and i think it was something like 5.99 it's upside down but how gorgeous is that so we've got that one the other ones I bought were, if I can get this box out, some of these. These ones here, along the back here, were, I think I got 12 rolls for 3.99. Some of these are Diamond Art Club. These are my nice ones. These are pretty. Some are from Diamond Art Club. These foil ones, can't even remember where I got, but these ones here are um, no, these ones, a lot of these ones here are Diamond Art Club. And then I have this box here, which is some that I got from where did I get them from? Oh, in a package from Admiral Zest in a mystery box. Oh, that's green. So that's for this one. But I think I have to leave that one out. But yeah, so these glitter ones, they don't seem to stick very well to the plastic. So hence that's why they're in that box. We'll leave them green out because that's for this one. But yeah, how pretty are they though, guys? Like, look. Do I have a favourite? Oh, look at these. I don't know if you can... Where's the camera? Focus. But yeah, pretty. But... My favourites have to be these. I just think, guys, let's get one out. 
they are of different sizes i can't even get it out there we go but look i'm hoping that you can see can you see that how pretty is that look at the little deer but yeah i think it was like like 5.99 and there's 20 on there they're not overly sticky but hopefully sticky enough for and the little thin ones i'm not sure what i'll use them for but i'm sure we will find something to use them on but yeah all right guys i'm gonna have a quick two second break toilet break time and i'll be back in one sec I'm back. That was about 15 minutes for me. About a second for you. Right, let's get a next colour. Oh, just one of them. 3363. Right. Let's get this one because it looks like it is. Just the one and that goes in there. Right. Oh, we don't there's too many of them. Let's do that one. Three seven seven two. Not many of those. Right, where are we with there? So it's one, two. Oh, there's that one that I've dropped. We'll put it in this there. Because I cannot remember what the colour was. And if I can't lose one drill, then I'm going to be up the creek without a paddle, basically. One there. One there. And one in a little crook there so what have you guys been up to what are you are you working alongside me or what are you working on what is your current whip I am um, being really strict and not kitting up anything until it's time. I don't have a huge amount of kits kitted up, to be fair. I think I've got about maybe five or six. Maybe. Not including my head and my nerves. Because I do have this one on the go and reading cats, which hopefully I will get also get finished this week. This this week, yeah, right. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Donut. I didn't put my pen on. See, this one's not too bad. You've been going 40 odd minutes and one 290. There's a few of them, the 152s. Now, I do only need 300, and I've got plenty of these in here. Didn't need to tip that many out. Um, however, it was, I'd rather keep all the same of the same drills of the same color together the same shade so when it comes down to kitting down what i will do and this is one of the other reasons i want to um sort of see what i've got and see what i need for the medusa because that's the next one that i'm going to be heaven and earth I'm going to do once I've 
completed reading cats. One, two, three, four in a step. And then in that little nook there. Um, when I kept this down, if I do have ones that are needed in heaven and earth, these can be put straight into there, which will, there's a few of these, 3862, there's lots of browns and peaches and so forth in this top bit here. Um, yeah, so I just think it'll be a way of sort of not kitting up but getting the drills ready i believe medusa is what is it i think it's like just under 100 colors now it is licensed artwork from a company called unconventional cross stitch it is by Christopher Lovell. As many of you know, I am a huge, huge fan of Christopher Lovell. Now, if any of you are on the Diamond Art Club VIP group on Facebook, have you seen all the palaver? about the recent release of Christopher Lovell's, one of his artworks, because it shows a bottom. Like, seriously. Like, it's not one of his artworks that I would do as a diamond painting. However, it is an amazing piece of art. I am a huge fan of Christopher Lovell. However, 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 it doesn't necessarily mean I would do, there are a few of his images that I absolutely love but I wouldn't particularly have them up on my wall. Um, or that they're not on the top list of the list for me to get. Um, I'm not a huge fan of lots of skulls and things like that. However, I do like to think... I really don't know how to turn that off, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have to get Anna Lee on the case to do it, I think. Or at least turn volume down so that doesn't happen. Um, however, yeah, I appreciate good artwork. And he, some of his, his artwork is truly amazing. But for somebody to... Oh, I haven't got many left in this pot. That will be getting refilled shortly. Um... Like, this person actually put a negative review because of the bum onto Diamond Art Club, like, actually on their website. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, there are some artwork that people do that I don't like. Just not my style. Now, you wouldn't put a bad review on it. Just scroll past. Like, who's got the time? Put that in because I've mocked it off anyway. But to put up a negative review, number one, on the day it's released, which shows that 
nobody's received it yet apart from obviously people that do the sneak peeks for them um i just i don't get it now it has caused lots of drama on the um <laughs> on the vip group which obviously is always entertaining. We do like a bit of drama. I don't get involved in it, however, I do read it. I'm not going to lie. Um, not that I think everyone should then have a go at this lady. However, the amount of people that were absolutely gobsmacked was unreal like it, it's just a case of you haven't got the kit you haven't brought the kit so why take the time to do the review um Would I put it up in in my house? Yeah, I most probably would. Um, like I said, it's it's not my favourite painting of Christopher Lovell. However, it is a stunning piece of artwork. If somebody was to, I don't know. I wouldn't buy it, but if, because, and like, if I had a million pounds, I'd buy every single one of his paintings, but it's not high enough on my list for me to buy it. Um, oh, what did I do there? Don't know what I did there, guys. All right, five, two, four. Um, if somebody was to send it to me, would I do it? Hell yes. Would I put it up? Most definitely, it's a bum. It's a couple of, and a very nice bum at that. Um, I only wish mine looked that good. Um, if, would I, it would go up on my wall. It is an amazing piece of artwork. And I do think that if, it's fine if you don't like something. 754. Not every picture is to everybody's taste, you know? Um, I've got pictures that I absolutely love the image. But will it go on my wall? Probably not. This one, guys. This colour, 677. Just have to say, I only actually need 24 of these. But obviously, I only need one for this section. So, that will go down to 23. Um, I just think it's a little bit... I just don't get it. Each to their own. She's entitled to have an opinion. Just like everybody's entitled to have an opinion. I just don't get it. Um, but she is entitled to her opinion. It's called an amazing, an amazing amount of drama on, like I said, the Diamond Art Club VIP group on Facebook. I love, love, love Christopher Lovell, like... Literally, if I had to say you can only do diamond art by one person, it would be Christopher Lovell, without a doubt. He would be first, second and third choice. I don't have a huge amount of his work. I have the nine lives that I've not long completed I have Solistice 
which is going I'm going to be doing for my for the local event in uh, March April. I had to think about it then. I also have two conversions, Medusa and Uriel, Uriel, I don't know how to bloody say it, which is Medusa's sister, I think, no it is, I'm sure it is, um, which are licensed, I am a very, very strong believer in licensed artwork. I do believe that my personal opinions, not everybody's opinions, but my personal opinions. Oh, this is one. Right, let me just count this. One, two, three, four. Let me go. Um, I do believe artists should be compensated for their work. And thankfully, I... I do love doing conversions. Um, I am actually building. <laughs> Me and Sam went through what we our stashes the other day on the phone, and I'm building a little bit of a stash of digital patterns. Yep, you heard it from my mouth. Um, so for me to have found a company that does Christopher Lovell artwork, I am over the moon. The fact that it's licensed, the fact that it works with, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It works with Pattern Keeper, as many of you know. I love of Pattern Keeper, can't praise them enough. Um, I know there's lots of other companies out there that work, that do, um, that can work with, because Pattern Keeper at, at the moment, apparently they're working on it, only work with Android. Um, but yeah, I could quite easily become now I heard you drop where did you... there you are where you bugger don't go in there um I could quite easily become a pattern keeper snob however in order for me to do conversions I also have to, and do it using spare drills, I also have to become, do normal ones. So, I'm not saying I'll only do Diamond Art Club, but they are my favourite. Right there, I think. I do have, I do intend to do a stash video at some point. Um, just to show you guys what I have. Right, I can see a drill that's not supposed to be in it. So you get put in there. That's all of those. See, we're slowly, slowly getting through these colours. So... I'm just checking that I was still in shot. Yes, I am. What colour should we do next? We need a kind of... Oh, look, there's just one of them. 842. Let's get one of you out. And you go right there. And I, I think also, guys, I don't like never liked working with double-sided tape canvases however let's do that quarter one 640 i am because i've been doing so much on this one 
I'm kind of getting used to it now. Right, you go in there. You need to move down a bit more. And then we've got one, two. I am, um, it's fine. I'm, f I'm actually working on this and I'm having no problems at all. I was talking to Sam, like I talk to her every day. Um, and I will, because this is not going to be behind, this is going up on my wall, without a doubt. Um, I do need to freshen up the paint in my front room. Once I've done that, I will be putting up some of my diamond paintings. There. I couldn't work out where that one was then. And then there's one there. And one there. And then there. Um, this without a doubt, but because it's going up, um, it won't be behind glass. Mainly because that I don't even know if I could get a frame to fit this. It would be mahusive and it would cost a fortune. Right, there's only one of them, 327. So... Yeah, I doubt very much this will be going. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. If I could get a frame for it, it would go in a frame. I will show you the process. I say I'll show you the process of when I finally get around to doing this. However, I'm not 100% sure myself yet. 3743. Um, but I will show you how I'm going to do it. So you'll be watching while I most probably cock it up. Let's do that one. Right, 779. Still need loads of these. Still need 1,500 odd of these. All right, so we've got one there, one there. I think I'm going to make this my last colour, guys, because although it's still early, I do want to get my section done on here. Oh, it's there. Look at that space. One. I want to get the section done. It is a lot quicker to do off camera than it is on. And then get housework done. I need to wash my hair. And I would like to do a little bit more work on my... new shop releases. So that I can get them shown to you which i'm excited about um so yeah it i got all confused then it is something i'm looking forward to doing i am i did decide it was supposed to be last week last weekend and i did decide to push it back Mainly because I don't want to put it out there. And then if any of you guys like it as much as I do. And you very kindly purchase. I don't want to be um, then in a position where I can't do my challenge. Because I need to fulfil any orders. So I am trying to build a bit of stock up. Not a great deal because you might not like it and I don't want to make it and then be 
not stuck with it because I tell you what guys, I use it for myself anyway. Um, but there's only so much I could use. So, and it's also going to be, it will have to be, when I do launch it, it may be a bit of a longer video, so it may be that you miss out on a heaven and a, on my heaven and earth challenge, and you get another video, but it'll be the shop launch video because it might be a bit more than a ten minute video. So. That is something to be looking forward to. Right, one there. Two. But I am excited, guys. And like I said, for me, at the minute, in case I do have to shoot down to London, um, I want to get as much done as I can. So... That is the plan. So we'll finish off these last few of these. But we've definitely done a fair bit. One, two, I think that is it. Yay! We should still have an hour video at least. Surely, 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 surely. Right, so with that, I've actually done 464 drills. Whoop, whoop. Right, so I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Hopefully get up nice and early in the morning. She can have a nice little video. And, yeah, hopefully I'll have an update of today's and it'll be a really really good one so have an amazing day guys sending you all my love please keep the positive encouragement coming keep praying and positive vibes for my niece's baby which is way more important than this um but yeah but for now guys i will love you and leave you and i will see you all tomorrow